Hi everyone, this is Jeremiah Wong from Frontier Precision Unmanned and today I'm going to make a little video about colorizing your point cloud from an ortho photo um, within CloudStation. Um, so I'm in CloudStation right now. I have an area that I flew. Um, so this is processed via PPK. Um, I don't have ground control or anything in here either. Um, the other thing is I have a ortho photo that I generated out of DJI Terra, which is right here. Um, I exported out that ortho photo, uh, and then I'm going to be using that ortho photo to then colorize this point cloud. Um, one thing to note, again, I only flew the ortho photo with PPK, so um, I did not use ground control. Um, and this will come up after I colorize it, and, and we'll talk a little more about that. But in terms of getting it colorized and the workflow for it, all we need to do is go over here in CloudStation, click Colorization, and up here it says From Ortho Photo. I'm gonna click From Ortho Photo, and then I'm gonna go to where I have that photo. So I'm gonna go to the folder where I know I have the photo. So this is the exported uh, GeoTIFF that is right here. I'm gonna click open. After I hit open, I'm gonna hit colorize. And the process doesn't take too long, but I guess your mileage may vary depending on the size of the area. Um, so as this is going, um, I, I definitely did mention you want to 100% make sure that your ortho photo and your point cloud are kind of set to some kind of control um, because in the case of what we will see shortly, um, if the photo and the point cloud do not align geospatially, um, it's kind of just like a drape kind of command. Um, so if the data isn't aligned, and it's gonna pop up in a second here. There we go. Um, and then I'm gonna go back. Let's turn off these flight lines. Um, so if I zoom in, we'll see certain things where if it wasn't aligned correctly or if it wasn't flown around the same day or same time, um, certain things can happen with the colorization. Um, since it is an ortho photo, it, it drapes down. So if it's not aligned, you get goofy little things like um, the tree image on the ground and then the tree not completely colorized. Or over here, you can see that there was definitely a shift in the data sets between the two um, where Definitely, there's not a bubble in the middle of a sidewalk that looks like that. It's more than likely this bush right here. And again, bubble, bubble, um, like that. Um, but to colorize the point cloud from an ortho is pretty easy. Within CloudStation, you just have to make sure that everything is aligned correctly. Uh, once it's aligned correctly, you should be good to go. Um, one last thing to keep in mind too is it seems that the input coordinate system that you want is more than likely going to be WGS84, um, just like everything else. So if you export out of Terra or Pix4D, um, any of the softwares, just leave it at its default WGS84 settings and everything should be good in terms of the coordinate system side of things. Um, but definitely the issue that we're seeing here with the shift is probably because these were flown on two different days uh, at two different times. And of course, things kind of move a little bit in, uh, in terms of GPS and things like that. So, um, but keep that in mind. Um, again, the process is pretty simple and easy. It's just a couple clicks. Uh, if you have any questions, you can definitely email us at uas at frontierprecision.com. Um, again, if you need anything else, just reach out. Thank you very much.